Hello everyone, Sparks here with another video. Uh, today's video is another Outer Worlds playthrough. Um, if you didn't uh, watch the first video for some reason, uh, you probably didn't hear... Uh, let me mute that for a second, it's really loud. Um, that I can't do live streams anymore. Well, on my mobile device, which is how I record all my videos. Uh, because I need a thousand subscribers. Well, that part wasn't in the last video, but me saying I can't do live streams anymore was. But anywho, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's why I can't, I didn't do a live stream, uh, yesterday because I need a thousand subscribers to do live streams on my mobile device. Which sucks. Even, even though I did live streams before, just fine on my mobile device. Anywho, let's get started with episode 2 of The Outer Worlds. That looks like a sentry box. The bottom one, not the top one. What does that say? Titus Androidus. I'm guessing... Androidus. Burridge, 2000. Burridge, 3000. I'm guessing it's a play. A new original mass speech from the director of Agent Khan and Island of Murder. <laughs> Blood and revenge are hammering in this head. Okay. With robots. Two robot directors. Okay, I, uh, yesterday I replayed up to the point where we got last time to to change a few things, like my stats. You, but that's about it. Anywho, uh, what were we doing last time? We were... Find a power regulator, okay. The unreliable power regulator had been damaged beyond repair and must be repaired. Ada suggested you seek help in a nearby settlement, Edgewater. Talk to whoever runs to town. You learn that a man named Reed Tobson is in charge of Edgewater. He might be able to help you find the part you need to fix the ship. Okay. Okay, that's good. It's really blue because it's nighttime. And it's actually really blue too, in game. Uh, I'm guessing this, I'm gonna make this another hour long video. I love playing this game. Um, and it didn't take all that long to upload once I was done. I want your helmet. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. It's okay. Oh. I want to look inside. There's those things from the cave. Yeah. No, that'd be stealing. Not a thief. Just really sneaky. By about bypass shunts. Tools to uh, to hack computers. What? What's going on? Oh, he's shooting at the these things. That we were being attacked. Anything on you? No. Can I take these without stealing? They're not red. Ooh, a joint actuator. Movement mechanism from a limb of an auto mechanical. Okay, that might come in handy later. Those are things. What they do to you, jerk? There's no, okay, can't go in there. 
There's the canteen. Oh, the barber shop. Can I change my haircut? Hey. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? Duh. I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling. Oh, I forgot to take this off. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay. I'm looking to repair my ship. What would... Why would... Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Wait. Wouldn't that more person do that? Not a barber? Okay. I got some... Uh, let's ask them this. A ship? Dear me, you seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI. Here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Uh, you don't seem to like him much. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off a distinct whiff of superiority. Like you? I got some questions for you. Go ahead. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Was it phlegm, that one treat from Courage Cowdy Dog? I don't know. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Who no idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. That seems pretty unfair, but okay. That's all for now. Uh, wrong button. I have to put this on. There we go. Wait. What can I do for you? Can you give me a haircut? You sound like you had some training. I I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yes. Somewhat. Only if you, we use the term doctor loosely. So you prepare corpses for burial. Pretty stupid job description. think that, but the tidiness of my fellow worker is my responsibility, alive or otherwise. Whether you're showing up to work or going to that great cannery in the sky, it's my job to make you look like a million bits. Go ahead. Um. What can I do for you? Cut my hair. Is 
If you're hearing wrestling in the background, I'm eating Smarties. The big ones. That's why. Oh, you're a doctor. Not a barber. Why do you have barber chairs then? Fine. What's in the back? Yep, definitely a doctor. Examine. Let's see. There we go. Conrad, receptionist, shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what is uh, is destruction of spacious choice property. Eugene was in access, and somebody had to pay his body price. That's really weird. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth, heirlooms passed down his family or something. That sounds disgusting. Um, you're possessing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them open, pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. Besides the corpse having no teeth, but yeah. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Wagger your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Okay. What is that? Laboratory outfit splash resistant. Yeah, it's weaker than the stuff I have on. Spacer choice guard. Ooh, that, that looks like that could be used as a weapon. <laughs> Look at that thing. Or that, whatever that is. Is that a... Oh, it's a saw. What's in here? Nothing? Okay. Goodbye! Nope. Let's head into the canteen. See if we can find anyone here. Getting a western vibe from this. No. Do not want to start a bar fight. Or a canteen fight in this case. What? If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us. Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Yeah, there is. We have another zero G. I don't know you. Okay. I'm Luna Singer. That's one of the things I changed. I gave her a last name too. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. Mm. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Hmm. Something going on here that I should know about? <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah. We've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand. But you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Okay. Fine by me. Let's see what you ha have on tap. Coming right up. Okay, let's see. Uh, your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Okay. Uh, dehydrated water. What? Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Sugary drink. Body attribute plus one, that's 30 seconds. 
Oh, dehydrated water tablet. Okay. Plain and pure water spacer's choice. Ingredients, 99% water, sugar drink body at root plus one last 30 seconds. Uh, what's the other 1%? Uh, I've got a bunch of those. Actually, I want to sell some stuff to you. Okay, not these because these are healing. Not that because I need them for shooting. Special blend of herbs and spices packed with oil and loaded with sodium. Meat base health plus 25%. Ooh, I'm going to keep that. Mag pick. Tools to, oh no, keep those. Tartar sauce. Mm. Ooh, pea packed bread. Ooh, this is much better. Never mind. Bread. Health regeneration plus 200. Um, that one I'm keeping. And no one really likes that. So I'm going to sell the stupid but keep that fish sticks oh nice as always the first ingredient is salt tuna some filler added nope sell that weapon parts don't sell that high energy electromagnetical cell pack used to energy weapon well, I'm not using energy weapon so Oh, it's just junk. Okay. I'm going to keep it still. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Oh, before I go, do. Bathroom. Okay. isn't red but it's locked so nope wrong one there we go ah I'm not doing anything I just want some experience that's all I also don't want to look in there Oh, it's just a storage room. Okay. Well, I just have to be the same buddy that my gun withdraw. Ooh. Oh, I can't play it. That looks cozy up here. Where's the mirror? This is the bathroom. There's no door on the bathroom. That's weird. Okay, let's go. La da dee, la da do, la da do. What's in here? Nope, can't take it. I'm guessing that's money. Because they said bits are money, right? And I keep finding a lot of them. Oop, ran on the table. Uh, oh, ooh, general store. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, not talking to me. Hello. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Hmm. I need to fix a ship. Do you know where I can find one? Uh, find parts. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cabinet. 
Okay. Let's see what you're selling. Use it to my ear. Ooh. Impact hammer. Light assault rifle. Do you have a sniper rifle? I'll take those. Oh, I only have 91, never mind. Excuse me. Try blade. Um. I don't want that anymore. I'm selling stuff, right? At 94. Revolver. Nice. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Armor. Oh, nice. How much? 6.9. Worker outfit. Mining helmet. Oh, it's 200 and that's 110. I don't have enough. Hmm. Nine list. Uh, nine. Wait, that's nine. And that's nine. Oh, uh, these two go together. Not that one. Okay. Uh, both 300 and 110. So I need 410. Damn it. Wait. How much money do I have? I have 93. I think that's what the number is. Where do I see my money's at? I have no idea. Nope, wrong button. I could probably find better armor anyways. Okay. Back on track to what I was I doing. If the ever gonna pass. Probably not. Rick the yes, of course. What does this say? Deserters in our midst. Myths. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm calling. Boss's orders. We all have quotes to make. Life here seems like it sucks. Notice, the Edgewater Saltuna Canyon facility strictly adheres to special source standards of health and safety. Notice, schedule your sick leave with your special source foreman and, and slash or supervisor. Be considerate toward other members of the special source family. Allow two to four weeks. Okay. Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. Why do you have to pick for your sick leave? We try to arrange wage deduction instead. Remember, work investigates the spirit. Invigorate the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself failing, falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Yeah, like I said before, it seems like it sucks to live here. Pay for everything. If you don't.
Okay. The grease monkey Argo. Let me save. I haven't saved in a while. I'm sorry to put you out of this place. You asked why it's taken so long to fix. Is the answer oh. technical? Don't apologize. Just try using small. And that, that's the guy from the oven, the um. Except to cook salt tuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson. The. Loading screen. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting cell tuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with, well, not. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Pavani, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repaired. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the power transformer. Oh. Cosmic ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But. I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Rewrap power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I don't like this guy. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to know. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Why? This town sucks. Alright, Reed. Let's see what I can do to help. First, how will I recognize Adeline? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay. Those workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed. I see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I can come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sorry. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. She, 
Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Okay. Well, you... I'm glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a long time for the stranger, I know. Come on, let's get going. You. Oh. Okay, CNP, new manager, something, companions. You have gained a companion. You are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Variety of ways. Plus, companions provide combat support. Plus, their skills enhance your skills. Plus, they increase their carrying capacity. Good. Another plus, you can unlock special companion combat abilities with their with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companion in the companion ledger. Okay. You sound like Veronica. Let me talk to her. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. A little bit. I think that is her. Well, we got a companion. That's cool. Why do you look sad? Okay, fine. Don't look at me. Am I taller than you? Or are you taller than me? I think she's taller than me. Hey, ma'am. Can we talk? Yeah. Sorry. Can we talk? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on that. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Okay. This is about the deserter, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. what I've been saying. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no life to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse. Oh God. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about Max, his name is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Duh. I'm stupid. I suppose it could hurt. We stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Yeah? You do sound like Veronica. You're getting me off Veronica. For Veronica's vibes, anyways. In here? Or out here? Let's go to the. Uh... Wait, which way is. Is there a map? Where's a map at? Okay. This way's to what? Doesn't say. It's just daytime again. That's good. Um. Ooh, last one. Okay, Vickers this way. I guess so. But is it? It is a church, so it's supposed to be clean, unless it's abandoned, then falls in disarray. Vicar 
Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Miss Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Mr. de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Pravati wanted me to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. Oh. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Um, cut off the power to a Adeline's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what, what do you advise? Assuming your goal save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the oh. pool. Right, just talk to everybody to come together. Keep that in mind. It sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Thank you for your time. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Okay. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. Oh. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. No, it's just Luna is not like that. Why would a victor be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Okay. Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you after this. Contraband text. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Okay. Uh, maybe I get your book and sell it to someone else. No. You make a compelling argument. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakono handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Oh. Assuming you're serious. I need to know a little bit more before I agree to this. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Oh. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. I look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay. Um. Goodbye. You are taller than me. Okay. Okay, let's salt tuna cannery. The only source of protein a busy worker needs. That'll get old real quick. And like they said, it's not all fish. That's disgusting.
I'd rather have a steak every day than fish. Fish smell weird. But if you cook it the right way, they're delicious. No, same thing. Same thing with everything else, but I'd rather have a steak than a fish every day. Fish once in a while, but yeah. That's just me. I went out the wrong way. What's in here? Can I take this without being shot? Nickel pads. I don't know what that is. Tartar sauce. Mock apple juice. Bottle of gently squeezed mock apples. Oh, this thing I have. Okay, never mind. Yes. <laughs> Light pistol, ooh, and a necklace. Lock pick. Um, it said I could. Okay, here we go. TNL makes the best gear for your friends and family. The can the companion ledger. This companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companion. You can see their skills, stats, status effects, and gear. To change your companion's gear, first select the item you want to swap out. Then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can change how they behave in combat by selecting the preferred weapon. Follow distance and aggression. You have a pistol and a hammer. Okay. That pistol is like 10 points better than mine, but okay. Um, that's mine. You have mechanic overall. Okay. What perks do you have? Increase the companion's maximum health. Increase the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them more likely to attack this Making them mo more likely to attack this companion. Okay. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking it. What? That makes no sense. Oh, are these perks you can't you can give them. Oh, that makes sense. Increase your engineering skill when party is in the party. Oh, cool. Well, I'll probably get boisterous for her because I am a sniper and I don't want enemies focusing on me. But I don't have any perk points for her, so. Let's change that, shall we? I know this is episode being a little boring, but. We're getting to the meat of it. Can we go around or do we have to go through again? What was that? Oh, those things. People were shooting at them. Well, that guard was shooting at them. They're not attacking me, so I'm not going to attack them. And that's what Luna would do, too. Okay, here's the front. I think. Yes, that's the front. Um. Another graveyard. Edgewater Cemetery discovered. 100 XP. Elmer Tubson. Lifetime net value 8,112 bits. Guessing that's a, a lot? I don't know. Are these graves? Looks like it. What is this? Can I punch it? Nope. Okay. Don't know what that is.
400 meters, meters away. Wish I had a horse right now. If I walk that slow that you're just walking. You look like you run faster than me. Oh. Holy sh- Nope! Run! Run! Oh crap! But the trolls! But the trolls! Are you okay? Primal Behemoth! Oh crap, I'm gonna die! Run, Priority! Run! Jesus! Primal Brain. What, am I gonna eat it? Oh, God! They're giant trolls! Holy! <laughs> ah! You can't get me now, sucker! Eat hot lead! Holy! You can't get me! Oh crap! Ah! You can't get me! Shooting the butt cheek. Come back! I just want to kill you! Actually, stay away. Where is Pervardi? Did he die? Pervardi! Where are you? Did it show on the map? Wrong one. Nope. Okay. Um... Okay, that's good. Now those cards. Something you can do to make your companion tougher. Give them better armor, increase their determination skill. Okay. Um Oh, there you are. Um Yeah, huh? How are you feeling after being beat to death? I noticed you mentioned your dad's a lot dad a lot, but you never never your mother. I never met her. Oh. You mean she's dead? Well, I don't rightly know. Oh. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, running the Canada computers. The contract said any kids she had, accepted or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That is stupid. That's inhuman. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about? You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't that supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine and it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratching, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, it's been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one they ain't never been run. It's people living. Something no! What? Under glass. Kitty! That was my cat who just jumped up. <laughs> Sorry, he's fine. Put him back down on the floor. I had the, my iPad on like a, a chair, on the back of a chair, and it's being held up by like a wire. Anywho, uh, back to the game. Don't give me that eye roll. You're a mechanic. Whatever you see, a machine, it needs 
it is in need of fixing. It's not ideal, but what we live in, but what we strive for. Then why you, why, why you want to talk to him? Never been much for religion myself. That's true. Um. I think there's something higher and greater than us. But I don't feel it when I'm in the mission. Yeah. Let's get back to it. What? Luna does not believe in that all that much. Besides surviving, eating, caring for people. Oh, you can jump. Come on. Bavardi. Probably saying her name wrong. Let's not run into those trolls again. Transport wreck is discovered. 100. Oh! Marauder, Goon. Sorry, doggy. I know, I know. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger. I know how this works. Leveling up increases your health portion. Health points give you points to upgrade your skills, as well as give you access to new perks every other level. Keep leveling, and you'll be upper management material in no time. You already said this. Like New Vegas. Level four, I get one. Level six. Blah 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 blah. blah. But wait. What? Put that there. Put the rest into range for right now. Let's get these ones up first. Apply. Make sure I did the right one. Time dilation location hits. What's this? You have unlocked location hit effect for tactical dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TDA maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hit to the chest to do a different effect when using different weapons. Of course. Okay. I thought it was all, every other level. No perks. Okay, I don't have perks on. Okay, so that... What's this? Yeah, I know. Why is it thinking? I'm so confused. Music box. A small wooden box. This music box plays the happy sissy pig. When its lid is open, consider yourself... Earwormed. Metal spaceship. Small model spaceship. Okay. Um, no. What are the other people we shot? Don't want a saber. Something tail. Bright and fluffy. Tail of an adult. Cated. Whip like and. S I don't know. Another one. Okay, I don't care about those things. Let's get to here already. 
enough trouble running the marauders and trolls. This might go a little longer than... Oh, crap. Almost dead. A little longer than an hour. Maybe, I don't know. Probably not. Ooh, what's in here? Can I not go in there? Oh. Mm. Hello? Is there anything I can take in here without being shot at afterwards? Money. Ooh, a necklace. Bread noodles. Okay. Devilish Mist. Adrenaline Booster. Oh, okay. Assault Rifle, I'm not gonna take. Nope. I want a sniper, not a. I'm gonna look in here. Pick up bypass shunt. Okay. Evicted. <coughs> oh. I don't either. Don't don't have a heart attack. Let me save just in case they get trigger happy. Grace Romero, Romero, something. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. What's your problem? I'm looking for Adeline. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. No, I'm looking for the... You know anything about it? Reed said something about former workers living out in the... Let's not mention him. I'm looking for the geothermal plant. Know anything about it? Um... A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Okay, that's good. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. You have a sniper? Ooh. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse. Tending crops. Hot I'm not question you. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay. We all got problems. I just shot. I just got shot into space. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us got to make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady and Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. I keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Yeah. It's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in. That's not. Okay, don't worry about it. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. I got some question about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. 
Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Okay. Little ways ago, she was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Yeah. Maybe the Marauders took her away. No. How well do you know her? Well enough to know we never got on. Though he's definitely close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay. Let's change the subject. What is it? Um, uh, I'll leave you be. I want your sniper. Please, give me your sniper. I have a sniper character without a sniper. That makes no sense. Where is it? Oh. No, that's a greenhouse, not sod, whatever you call it. Hot house? No, let's not shoot anybody. Sorry. All these characters look really Whatever good. Your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Um, you must be Adeline. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb, grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Adeline. Excuse me, Miss Bennett? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Okay. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Looks like you made a home for yourself out here. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town leaves power up as it fits me. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Okay. He asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a germ serum plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? I'm not agreeing to anything. What? Oh, you can't have the power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. If you want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Ooh. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Ooh. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort, sort of thing, thing a hero would be. Ooh. What have you got against the town? I'm not looking to get mixed up in your problems. Hero to you, maybe. What have you got against the town? True. Off whatever scrap of spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old man, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. You made your point clear enough. I see what I can do. Don't much like, I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I don't. 
Um, all right. I'm so special. That was unkind. I'm sorry, dear. Okay. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Okay. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Okay. I consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Well, I don't like that town anyways. Seems like a hellhole. Oh, that's cool. Almost thought that was a rainbow. Um, I think that'd be the video. A little longer by six minutes. Yeah, I guess that'd be the video. Um, hit that like, subscribe, and notify everybody. Notify the new videos I upload. And I see you sparking tears in the next one. Goodbye.